Hello everyone, my name is Rebecca and welcome to HelpYourMath.com. Today we're going to be talking about adding and subtracting polynomials. So our first example is 2x squared plus 5x minus 3 plus negative 5x squared minus 3x plus 4. How we add polynomials is we look for like terms. When I say like terms, I mean they have the same base being raised to the same power. So in this case, 2x squared and negative 5x squared are like terms because they both have an x squared attached to them. How we add them is we add the whole numbers. So we're going to add 2 and negative 5. So 2 plus negative 5 is negative 3 and then we rewrite the x squared. Now I'm going to look at my next term which is positive 5x. Positive 5x and negative 3x are like terms because they both have x being raised to the first power. So positive 5 plus negative 3 is positive 2x. And now I'm going to look at the whole numbers. So negative 3 and positive 4 are like terms because they're both whole numbers. So negative 3 plus positive 4 is positive 1. So my final solution is negative 3x squared plus 2x plus 1. Now let's look at another example. Our next example is negative 3x cubed plus 5x squared minus 4 plus 3x squared plus 2x minus 1. Let's look at our first term. Our first term is negative 3x cubed. No other term in either of those polynomials has x cubed attached to it, so we're going to rewrite negative 3 x cubed. Our next term is positive 5x squared. Positive 5x squared and positive 3x squared are like terms because they both have x being raised to the second power. So positive 5x squared plus 3x squared is positive 8x squared. Negative 4 and negative 1 are like terms because they are both whole numbers. Negative 4 plus negative 1 is negative 5. And I do not want to forget my positive 2x that I still have in this second polynomial. So I'm going to rewrite positive 2x. If I wanted to rewrite this in descending power order, I could rewrite this as negative 3x cubed plus 8x squared plus 2x minus 5 as my final solution. Now let's talk about subtracting polynomials. Subtracting polynomials is a little bit different. Notice here that we have a subtraction sign instead of an addition sign. And how we're going to solve this is we're going to use a process called keep, change, change. What I mean by keep, change, change is I'm going to keep this first polynomial. So I'm going to rewrite 5x squared plus 4x minus 3. I'm going to change the subtraction sign to addition, and I'm going to change each of the signs in the second polynomial. So negative 2x squared becomes positive 2x squared, negative 4x becomes positive 4x, and positive 3 becomes negative 3. Now I'm going to add, just like I did in the previous problems. We're going to look for a like term with 5x squared. 5x squared and 2x squared are like terms because they both have x squared attached to them. 5x squared plus 2x squared is 7x squared. Positive 4x and positive 4x are like terms because they both have x attached to them. Positive 4x plus positive 4x is positive 8x. And now I have my whole numbers of negative 3 and negative 3. Negative 3 plus negative 3 is negative 6. So my final solution is 7x squared plus 8x minus 6. Now let's look at another example. We have negative 3x squared minus 2x plus 5 minus 4x squared plus x minus 7. We're going to use the same process of keep, change, change. So I'm going to keep my first polynomial, so I'm going to rewrite negative 3x squared 
minus 2x plus 5. I'm going to change my subtraction sign to addition, and I'm going to change each of the signs in the second polynomial. So positive 4x squared becomes negative 4x squared, positive x becomes negative x, and negative 7 becomes positive 7. So now I'm going to add just like I did before. So I have negative 3x squared and negative 4x squared because they are like terms. So negative 3x squared plus negative 4x squared is negative 7x squared. Negative 2x and negative x are like terms because they both have x attached to them. So negative 2x plus negative x is negative 3x. And finally, positive 5 and positive 7 is positive 12. So my final answer is negative 7x squared plus 3x plus 12. So we're going to talk about some more methods on how we can subtract polynomials. Another method we can do is we can think of this negative sign as having a negative 1 here. And then we can just drop the parentheses from the first polynomial. So we'll have 5x squared plus 4x minus 3. And then we can multiply negative 1 by each of the terms in the second polynomial. So we'll have negative 1 times negative 2x squared, which is positive 2x squared negative 1 times negative 4x, which is positive 4x, and negative 1 times positive 3, which is negative 3. So now I can combine like terms. 5x squared and 2x squared are like terms because they both have x squared attached to them. So 5x squared plus 2x squared is 7x squared. 4x and 4x are like terms because they both have x attached to them. So 4x plus 4x is positive 8x. And then I have whole numbers left. So I have negative 3 and negative 3, which is negative 6. So my final solution is 7x squared plus 8x minus 6. Now we can talk about a different method we can use to solve this problem. If I see subtraction here in this problem, what I can do is drop my parentheses from the first polynomial. So I have 5x squared plus 4x minus 3. I can automatically flip all of the signs in the second polynomial. So negative 2x squared becomes positive 2x squared, negative 4x becomes positive 4x, and positive 3 becomes negative 3. And now, just like before, I can combine like terms. So I have 5x squared and 2x squared, which is 7x squared, 4x and 4x, which is 8x, and negative 3 and negative 3, which is negative 6. So my final solution is 7x squared plus 8x minus 6.